such a unique home. I have been super stoked about putting this on the channel. Uh, this is a beautiful looking cabin we have here. This is at Hilltop Structures. I'm in Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee, kind of here close to Nashville. And uh, they have all kind of really cool stuff right here. They have a lot of these right here finished out. I've got several they're gonna put on the channel, so you wanna stay tuned for that. But this is the big boy. This is the one, well, it's probably the biggest one here, uh, but it is very nice on the inside. We're gonna check all that out, so don't worry. Y'all be sure to drop me a like on this video if you will, that helps them out a lot. And if you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe to the notification bell. I wanted to come down here and show you these windows. I know I got some drone shots of everything, but look at this. I mean, you wanna talk about stay in the mountains. This is it. I gotta give you just a close up right here. I wanna show you one thing on the back and then we're gonna head onto the porch. Just show you a lot of this X chair. And I'm talking there's wood throughout, a lot of, a lot of a lot of pine that you're going to see. We have an upstairs in this one as well. Oh, but yeah, let's check back here on the back. Show us your door. Show show you the dormers that we have off the top. All these nice windows as well. And then one thing to note back here is we have us a back door. So we got two bedrooms, two baths, and a really nice living room kitchen set up in this one. Let's head around that front porch. All right. I wish the it wasn't so overcast sorry you guys i tried to come it's been saying it was going to sunshine it's gonna be sunshiny all day i get here and it's about to snow it's the craziest thing ever i did not anticipate that i i was like i'm gonna pick a day when it's sunny i'm gonna go there get th get these homes and would you know everything changed but look at how huge this porch is i'll do my best to try to have y'all some measurement stuff if i'm able to but the interest that we have is off these really nice full glass double doors. What about that? Looks great. Now let's head in. So soon as you walk in, what about this view, you guys? Oh my gosh. Huge vaulted ceilings, man. Let's just take the let's take it right over in this direction. It's kind of it's where the camera went. I didn't even I didn't even guide it over this way. It's like it was attracted. So I know we looked those windows on the exterior, but from the inside they look just as great. As you can tell, they've done a wonderful job staging the inside of this home. There's those upstairs. We've got a lot to see. So this right here is your living area, as you can tell. We've got wood on the walls. We've got wood cabinets. We've got wood floors. Everything about this home, to me, screams like cabin, lodge, whatever. This would be a great, uh, I mean, obviously this could be a forever home, but if you would want it to have something like this in the mountains or on a lake or something like that, I think that would be awesome. So now we come into the kitchen. I've got to give you a close up of these cabinets. Wow, really nice wood cabinets. Oh, soft clothes as well. Stainless steel appliances, Samsung appliances. Beautiful kitchen sink right here. Here's a good shot of that whole living room kitchen set up. What is this right here? Check this out. Nice little storage area under your stairs. We're gonna go up the stairs, don't worry. We'll probably hold that off and maybe do that at the end. What about this light fixture? That is nice. I hadn't even noticed that. Have I shown y'all everything in here? This is so new to me, I feel like I'm gonna miss something. All right, let's head back here and see what else we got. 
as we come on back you gotta love the doors that you're gonna see all of the interior doors they got these really nice uh really unique looking handles you turn like that open it up this right here would be like a great pantry if you want to put some shelves in here just great for storage but you can t i mean well you can't tell because i'm i'm but i'm the one holding but these are really heavy duty nice doors the next thing we'll do is come on down here further see what we got i think this is yeah well so it's a little bit of a like a maybe like a vacuum closet or something but you got your water heater in there as well but you still got room for storage in there so it's not just for the water heater i believe and then next up we have our stackable washer and dryer here I've seen this in the past in some homes and you and sometimes it's like this tiny little spot. This is this is a this is you know this is residential regular size washer and dryer that you can put right there. And then we come on back. Oh we got a bath right there, but first off, this is the back door that I've shown y'all um that we looked at on when it was on the exterior, and then breaker box and everything is right there. So yes, we have a bed and a bathroom back here two different ways to get into this uh, bathroom. Let's go in right here. Oh, we got some different wood in here. Shower tub combo as well with some really nice faucets. Wow. Beautiful sinks. And I gotta say, this is a pretty good sized bathroom, you know? This reminds me uh, kind of about the size of maybe like a second bath or something in a, uh, you know, maybe a big double wide or triple wide or something. Um, but you got two sinks in here. And so, a lot of times with that case, you just see one. So you got two in here and then you got the shower tub combo. So. Okay, so you have this door right here, and this shuts there, and then right here into the bedroom, we have this pocket door. But I like to see that you got two different ways. That way you come straight in here from your bedroom, or if you know somebody comes in that back door and they need to get in here, they have access that way. Really well thought out. I like that a lot. Yeah, be sure to drop me a comment on the video. Let me know what you think about the home. And we are in the very first bedroom of this tour. I'm, I've already got used to opening it. When I first saw it, I didn't know how it worked. Now that I got good at open using these handles. I like the hardware and stuff you see on these doors. So two separate closets. That's nice to see. And I mean, you gotta have the lumberjack comforter. <laughs> This is a good sized room, as you can tell. So yes, it's only a two bed room, but each room is really good size. And uh, since we looked at this one, now I guess it's time for us to head upstairs and we will check out what's going on up there. Y'all ready for this? Let's go. So as you come up your stairs, you see what we have right here. It's a nice little sitting area. I like that you got this window up top. You can look out. This is on the back of the house. So maybe you've got a pasture with some farm animals and stuff. You can look out there in the morning, check on them. Make sure everybody's good. Now we're gonna walk into this bedroom. This is kind of like a loft, uh, you know, but it does have its own door and everything that you can shut. But then we walk into here. Look at this ceiling. I kind of caught myself walking through 
and just checking things out but i didn't even really notice this tin on the ceiling this is this looks really cool now this may not be nothing like what you're looking for but you gotta admit this is a really cool home uh just the way that it's been built and everything like that y'all have to do me a favor and share this video with someone you can take the link and just share it or you can put it on social media whatever you would like to do i would really appreciate that and now since we've checked out the room last thing we got to do is look at this bath same sinks that we've seen down there in the other bathroom in here this bathroom is just a little bit smaller but you still have you a nice size shower right in here and then down on that first bathroom remember you got the tub down there if you need that as well wow this has been one for the books y'all thank you also y'all don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell if you have not uh seriously share this video i really would appreciate that and if you have not liked the video by now i'm going to encourage you to do that now let's take a look from over the top of this loft what about this view wow keep in mind that this pricing is for at the time of the video being recorded if you're watching down the road pricing stuff has probably changed also let me mention if you are maybe in a different area getting this built you may have to build it to different specifications so uh this will just really give you a good idea right here up above us we'll give you a really good idea what you can get this home for this right here is a tiny home that is next level you guys stick around we're gonna check out a little bit out here and then we're gonna check out the sea breeze this is a very popular model um got the hardy on the exterior we got the front porch i'm gonna circle back around from there you're gonna have a lot of windows on this home and a lot of cool stuff on the inside that i've never seen on any of the tiny homes that i've ever done i will say that as we come back around here let me talk to you about going in subscribing and the notification bell if you have not that's the outside plug Got your uh, water hook up there. We got an outside faucet. As you know, these units are going to come with the heat and air. Wait, Mitsubishi. Hold up. Thought that was a vehicle. Okay. So I love to see that we have the metal roof right here. It looks fantastic. And then as we come over here, you can just see tons of windows. That's your living area up front. Tons of windows right there. Y'all definitely be sure to drop me a like on this video, if you will. That'll help me out a lot. Now, I want to show you just quickly a couple things on this front porch. Let's check it out. I like to see that we have these guardrails, the black guardrails with the white. It goes together very well. I think it looks great. If we walk up, we have this outside plug right there. Vaulted ceilings in this porch, you guys, if you haven't noticed. Goodness gracious. Hey, that one over there, super cool. You definitely gonna wanna see it. It may already be on the channel. I'll try to let you know. But what I love about these is like, how big these por porches are because you know, I think these are cool. If you bought one, maybe you want to live in, you know, as your permanent home. But if you're going to if you was going to set it up for like a secondary home or like a lake house or in the mountains or whatever, or a cabin, then having this porch, I mean, you're going to be out here all the time. So it's great to see that it's this big. Now we got the full glass front door with the blinds inside of it. And so let's go ahead and open that door and see what's happening. Y'all, come on. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to talk about things that I noticed. Y'all be sure to uh, drop a comment on maybe something that I forget to mention. You know, I can't, can't remember everything. Okay. <laughs> no, but the first thing that I had to say is just that I noticed is all of these windows bringing in all of that light. There is no power or anything, but you can see just how bright it is in here. 
Plus you have your transom windows up top. You got the tongue and groove, vaulted ceiling. Give you a shot of this flooring. Your trim looks wonderful uh, around the windows and even around the bottom of the floor and everything like that and the ceilings. So, before we go any further, I gotta show you what's right behind here. Is this for your pets to say? Is this, I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> ah, okay. Actually, it's a great little storage area and you also have your tankless water heater in here. Would you have thought that? I want y'all to be serious. Would you have thought your tankless water heater would have been in there? They've used every inch of this home. It's kind of planned out and where everything goes. So they made the most of this space. Now, we're gonna head on over into the kitchen. <whistles> Got the white cabinets, black pools, black countertops, stainless steel appliances. I gotta see what's over there. Okay, soft clothes. Okay. One more thing I want to show you is this Springer faucet. It's kind of like a, it's a matte black. Goes well with everything else that we have in here. And then over here on this side, you got your thermostat. You've got stainless steel Frigidaire refrigerator. Got you a nice storage area right there for your phone books. <laughs> Somehow that's what gets put up on the top of our refrigerator is phone books. What about y'all? So we got the stackable washer and dryer next we can see. I just love how bright it is in here with no power that keeps, when I seen it having power, I was like, well, that may hurt the lighting a little bit, but it has not at all. Then we got our bunk beds for Chris and Kyle. And each one of these, they have this uh, cubby area and they have their own lights and their own windows. So I'm stepping into the bedroom right here to show you kind of a, uh, back up a little bit, but you have a pocket door that shuts off your bedroom. But once again, with the colors in here, with the, this all being black and the white, I'm all about it. Now let's look at our bath. Round porcelain sink. Got these same countertops we've seen in the kitchen. And then we got this same backsplash that wraps around here. Plus have us, we have us a nice window. Ooh, I really like this. I love this shower head. See if I can get you a close-up of that. The glass, like your sliding doors and everything will be installed. It's one of those things, just like that mirror that's not gonna be installed till this home is delivered. And then out from the bath, where to next, y'all? Let's do that bedroom, let's go. Walk into the bedroom, oh my God. Where do y'all wanna start? Let's start over here on this side. Ooh, I love this vaulted ceiling in here with the tongue and groove. Recessed lighting plus a ceiling fan with lights in it. You have this window here 
Plus you have this nice window. This would be kind of over the top of your, your bed, probably what you would put under that. Have some light fixtures on each side of that. You have another thermostat back here. Okay, so we this one, that one over there had a little bit different setup. This one's just got one big door and it can slide over this way. And so on this side, you have drawers, and then you have plug-in for like, if you wanna have a TV or something, but you have this countertop. And then you can slide it this way if you wanna cover that up. And then here's your closet. No wire racks, or if you want to completely slide it this way. Oh man, I almost forgot. We gotta, I gotta show y'all the loft. I was like finna start telling y'all that this is the end of the video, but it's not. Goodness gracious. Okay, so let's step up here. And so you gotta notice this is like the same as your uh, bunk beds down there. We walk up here. I'm trying to hold the camera in and walk up here. Wow. So we got windows on each side. Plus, and then you come down here. That's a long way to... Wow. I mentioned it in the other one, but what's cool is you could like sit there on the end of the stairs and be sitting up straight and have plenty of headroom while maybe kids are up here. You can talk to them if they're watching a movie or something like that. Need to do something. Don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell. If you enjoy these types of videos, you gotta check out our tiny house playlist and drop us a like if you will. That would mean a lot to us if you take time to do that. And lastly, if you will, share this video. I'd appreciate that as well. Now I wanna talk about some pricing on this particular model. Basically this is for the house itself and getting it shipped and getting it set up and all that. That would be extra expenses that uh, you know the buyer would have to account for. But with all that being said, for this home right here, this is a good idea what you can get this home for. And also keep in mind that is for at the time of recording. Y'all know with the industry and the market right now, prices change a good bit. Uh, they've been going up for a while. I feel like a lot of them are kind of leveling off and some even coming down. So uh, it's great to see, but this right here is for at the time of recording. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My day just got a little bit better because uh, I just pulled up and got to see this home for the very first time. And I'm getting a tour for y'all. This is the Rocky Mountain 3, I believe is the model name on this one. Okay, so this is part of Hilltop Structures. I don't know if y'all remember, I come to their place last year. This is in Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee. We're like 30 minutes uh west of nashville tennessee <laughs> you know what i'm saying now y'all know about nashville but anyways so their office and everything is like right down the road this is actually a house that uh his daughter the owner his daughter had set up and they, they kind of show it you know sometimes the people are looking to build this model and so they're letting me tour it to put it here on the channel and plus it'll be on their website and stuff but yeah we're also going to be going to their dealership to video some homes so y'all stay tuned for all that yes it has a basement we're gonna check all of that out but as you can tell this one here is pretty big with a porch several mini splits in it and i haven't even been back here but let's just walk back and see what we got wow y'all know where i live like you don't really see basements and stuff that much so i really enjoy getting to see that as you can tell this home hasn't been set up too long but it's beautiful they customize it up very nice M several bedrooms several bathrooms we've got us uh i like that it's like that we're gonna we'll, we may step out onto that as well come on around here we've got us a guard it's getting about that time 
or I guess sorry past that time I'm not gonna try to act like I know much about gardening because I don't okay we'll circle we're gonna circle back around I'm gonna step on that porch and we're gonna make our way in whoa all right so yeah let's step on the porch um I'll try to get some literature that we'll share, and especially at the end, I'll talk a lot about. So y'all stay tuned for all that. Kind of hopefully be able to give you some dimensions on this particular porch and all the rooms and everything. But yeah, this is a modular home. This is built to, uh, they can set these homes anywhere in the state of Tennessee. Now, he was telling me they're looking at maybe expanding as well. So we can keep that in mind. And also, and then they have those park model homes over there at their dealership and they can like ship those pretty much all over so that's that's cool we have these light fixtures here give you a close-up of our siding y'all gonna really enjoy this floor plan and then plus the basement uh we got a lot to see let's, let's step in as you can see the last thing see how this hinges right here like this this porch will kind of be pulled down and this is how when it's transporting everything you yeah, don't forget to share this video subscribe to the notification bell and drop me a like if you will thank you so much here we go Okay, I'll take just the, that's all we're getting. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely save that for last. Wow. So yeah, this house is filled with all types of wood. What you've got is kind of what they consider like a white pine here, pretty much on your walls. Let's start out with the living room. Ooh, some beautiful furniture. Huge shout out to to his daughter. I'm sorry I hadn't got to meet her yet, uh, but very thankful they allowed me to tour their home. And uh, like I said, they're going to be able to use some of this footage to put on their website. And obviously, when they have people that come uh, to their dealership and want to look at this house, they can show them the video and all that. So it's kind of good for everybody involved. And then I get to I get to have it to put on the channel, which is crazy, and get to see what y'all is that a <laughs> get to see what y'all think. Next up, oh, let's step let's step into the kitchen. I don't know where to go. Oh man, look at these countertops. Like I walked in, turned the lights on, but I really didn't just do a whole lot of looking around, especially in depth. These countertops, it's gonna be like a lazy Susan looks like. I really don't want to get off in there. Um cabinets, but I gotta see. Yes, it's a lazy Susan. I also actually just came from another location about 30 minutes from here. I got to tour a home that they set up for some customers and they were doing something really cool. Like, so they had the house setting and then off the back, they're like building a whole nother section. It's really cool. It may be on the channel. I'll let you know with some text, but if you haven't seen that video and it is up telling you, telling you, telling you, you would really like to see that as well. I think. A half to one minute. I know I kind of gave you a shot, but I want to give you a really close shot so you can see that. And if you notice, check out that rope. Can you see that rope that we have? It kind of comes on around here. I like that a lot. It's just very rustic vibes. Just uh, like my dad would love this. He's a, you know, cat, big cowboy and I, you know, kind of say that I am as well, but he's on another level and uh, loves, loves stuff like this. So maybe he's watching. So you got your dining table here uh, and you can see they've kind of got this down and you can actually pull this up if you needed more chairs, but they've got it down to kind of give you more walk walk around room through here, stainless steel appliances. 
Got the Whirlpool fridge right here. I do like these pools on these cabinets. It's like I keep walking away from the kitchen and then I end up back. <laughs> Y'all are like this guy. I'm trying to, oh my goodness. What? What? Oh, is, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, so I know this ain't necessarily just a pantry, but I had to throw in the pantry dance because, wow. I mean, obviously, you've got this area right here, which would be considered a pantry. But then all of this, you got an electrical outlet there. You've got your breaker box. Oh, yeah, I remember these, these door handles. Let's uh let's see. I don't have taken my shoes off, but yeah, we can step out here. I, it'd been raining earlier. Ooh. So with the with the land kind of going down like that, it makes this porch be up very high. I like that a lot. I mean, you can step out here, so peaceful. This is definitely out in some country. Nice little fire pit they've got. You can tell they've got this place set up nice. All right, let's head back in. We got a lot more to see. Okay, we're back in. We got to start checking out some bedrooms because we still got to go down there and see that basement. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we got a bath. I'll tell you what, let's go into this bedroom first. We've got us a mini split right here. We walk into a bedroom. Yeah, you're gonna see this pine just throughout. I like, uh, I noticed that in like all the rooms, you got these remotes. As soon as you walk in, you got a remote here for a mini split. Oh, I've gotta give, get y'all a close up of this. I like this, this trim. And then the way you have these kind of like built in on top of that, it looks beautiful. All right, so I'm not gonna go into any of their closets just because of privacy measures. I don't think I'd want anybody doing that if I tore my house for people to see on YouTube. So I'm not gonna do that, but, and I'm sure they wouldn't even mind, but let's just, we're just not gonna do that. Okay, step out of there. Now let's take a look at this bathroom. This is our first bath of the tour. We got these same countertops in here. We've got a uh, pocket door going into this bath. And then they have a model called the Laramie that's got a second level and that's got this shower upstairs on that second level. And I talked about it, um, but like, this is not like, I don't know what is that stuff that you would see like in an RV that's kind of like, is it like pay? plexiglass or something i don't know but this is not that this is straight glass that's like somehow bent i don't even know how that's possible but very very upgraded very nice walk into here so this is like uh this is, this is like where they, the fellas that come in here, all oh, got the study. That's cool. Got you another mini split in here. It's always good when you see, you got the good book right here. Come in here and get you some peace. I mean, yeah, do a little working out if you need to. 
And I like these vaulted ceilings a lot. All right, now let's go down here to the main bedroom. As we come on down to the main room, we've got the bed. <laughs> we'll get down there, but I didn't really show you much of this little like coffee station that you have right here. May your coffee kick in before reality does. Oh, okay. I got you. So they got this sliding door here that can be shut. And you know, just in case you're like potentially looking at getting this house, let me shut that just so you like, I just kind of wondered what that would look like. There you go. But I'm gonna leave it open because that's how it was when I came in here. And this comes into the main bedroom. Wow, this is a very big bedroom. You got a lot of space in here. So behind this door is gonna be like a nice storage closet for you. And then, yep, here is our main bed. We've got another mini split in here with the vaulted ceilings as well. And I'm not gonna go into their closet, but the door's open, so I kinda give you just a quick look. They have it very uh, put together in there. Uh, if Caitlin's watching, she's like, well, the reason ours, ours isn't is because of you, but which she is correct, but ours definitely doesn't look that good. We got double sinks in here. I really like these faucets. Same countertops that we've seen throughout the rest of the house. And the, these modular homes and what they're building here at Hilltop is just, man, it's something that I, I haven't toured really since last year. And, or I hadn't for sure toured any of there since last year, but I hadn't really toured anything like this. Um, not long ago, you know, I, I toured that one back at home that a guy was setting up, you know, was kind of along the same lines. This is their shower tub combo right here, very nice. But obviously it was a, a lot smaller. Oh, we got that sliding door. Make sure you, that's kind of got a different slide on it. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is head down to that basement. Uh, now, obviously, you know, if you're going to set one of these up on a basement, you're going to have to do most of that yourself. I really don't know the ins and outs of that. Um, maybe they could, depending on where it's going to be set and everything. But I just want to show it to you since this one is on a basement, kind of show you what that would look like if you did do that. Just keep all that in mind. Let's go check it out. I just like when you walk in, you look and you see all that, like, I'm like intrigued. I'm like, what is down there? I love this. This handrail that you have coming down here. The steps look wonderful. I come down here and I really just looked in here. I didn't even look all the way down that direction. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a huge area. Hey, I peek, I I check. I see the wakeboard there. I like that. If y'all don't know, I wakeboard a little bit. I can do a a back roll. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got though. I really ain't even done one of those in a few years because I'm like 30 something now. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> but yeah, there's those doors we kind of look looked at for just a glimpse. We stepped around back. Let me turn right here so you can see. Wow. This is probably where I would be most evenings doing something. As it looks like the husband kind of does the same. I could be wrong. The wife could be down here just as much. Very cool. Look at these beams right here.
I like how they were able to put their water heater down here. That's nice. They got the washer and dryer and everything. Man, y'all share this video, will you? Please share it with someone. Don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't. And uh, drop a like on the video if you if you will. That'll help us out tremendously. And stick around. I'm finna get into some more information. I'll try to, what I'll do is when I go home, I'll try to gather a lot of stuff for y'all to be able to help you out. And uh, hopefully they'll provide you more information. So this is what they told me. I'm gonna pop it up right here in just a second, but I'll just read what says. This price right here, uh, obviously then the foundation is gonna be extra. Um, that's just the upstairs part with the mini split and everything. It obviously doesn't include the, the back deck, but it does include the front porch. So it's basically your home and, um, yeah, and then everything inside of the home. Uh, but okay, right here, great idea on what this home is going to be going for. Now let me head out. Well, 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 look what we got right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what about this? This is going to be so cool. I can't wait to show y'all everything on this one. We're gonna take a few quick moments out here on the exterior and then we're gonna head in, check out the ports and then head into this one. I wanna tell you where we're at. This is River Ridge Escapes, tiny homes and communities. They have some really cool stuff happening. So they have this lot here. Let me get a quick scan. They've got one right there I've toured. They got another one over here. I'll show you as we walk around. But they have these uh, lot models here that they sell. Uh, also on top of that, they have uh, basically lots that you can put these on or if you have your own lot, whatever, they can set it up for you as well. And I'm gonna be touring some of the communities, so I'm really excited about that. So y'all have to stay tuned to the channel. This model right here is just beautiful. Wait till we get on the inside. Show you a couple close-ups. So we got the 10 plus uh, the smart board. Getting ahead of yourself, Chance. Sorry about that. We we got the smart board right here. 10 as well. Then we got the board and batten. A lot of different things. Big truck coming, everybody. Hold on, hold on. Okay, back in. All right, we have an outside water hook up there. Got us an outside plug here. So yeah, nodal, another model right there. And then this is our backside. You guys have to be sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you will. And don't forget to drop us a like on this video. That'll help us out tremendously if you'll take the time to do that. Thank you so much. So just by looking at the exterior, one thing that I really like is these dark colors. And then you have this metal roof just looking very good all together. Now I'm going to head up here and we're going to head onto our porch. Y'all ready? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Sure is a great day here. This is in Menlo, Georgia. I like those transom windows up top. So as we step up onto the porch, you notice we got a really big porch on this unit, as you can tell. Got the guardrails all the way around. I'll try to have you some measurements and stuff like that uh, as I tour this home, as always. So you have the vaulted ceiling right here. And I love how we have these double doors. We got the blinds in the doors. And uh, that's the doors we're about to head in. Let's check this one out. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so much fun. I don't even really know where to start, what to say. Y'all be sure to drop me a comment. Let me know maybe some things I don't talk about that you noticed about this particular home. And if you had seen some of the other ones, you gotta stay tuned to the channel. Wow. So we walk in. I just first off noticed that we continue on with this, these dark colors. I really like that. Everything goes together perfectly. And then you walk into your living area. We've got, you got your electric fireplace, which I see these in a lot of different homes. And, and I've seen these in like some really big triple wides. So to see this in something smaller like this is great. Shut this door, cut some, cut some of the noise out. And then above the fireplace, we have a spot for your flat screen TV with some windows up top over there. And we also have those same windows over here. Plus we have some stairs, but I'm not gonna get, well, I'm not, I'm not even going there yet, okay?
tongue and groove on your ceiling. Beautiful countertops. Man, these are really nice countertops. Plus, these are really nice cabinets as well. Soft clothes on them. You have the Springer faucet and you also have this window over your sink. That's beautiful, I like to see that. Built-in microwave. So you got a standard stove microwave in here and then your refrigerator is right here. And don't you be looking back. <laughs> oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff happening back there. So next up, what we have to look at is your washer and dryer right here. And these are your regular residential size appliances. I also love this that we have. We have all, not completely throughout the home, but in a lot of different places. And then next stop is the bunk beds. We have a top bunk and we have well, I mean, if you got a top bunk, you got to have a bottom bunk. I mean, come on, Chance, everybody knows that but each one has their own window i like to see these uh, lights that they have and you got this little cubby you know where you can stick your phone at night or kids if you're not able to have your phone once you get in the bunk bed i'm not trying to say you should i'm just saying if you happen to let your parents raise you i'm not gonna do that <laughs> y'all didn't know y'all was gonna get all that okay and then across from the bunk beds, we have a bathroom, which is what I wanted to show you next. It has a pocket door, but they have it where it stays open, so I couldn't shut it on y'all. It's right there, but you can shut that pocket door. I see pocket doors in a lot of these homes because they help save space and all that. We've got us a sink. We got these same countertops in here. Obviously, you'd have a spot for a mirror there. Probably gonna put that up after this home is delivered so you don't run the risk of that uh, breaking. But then you, I like how your countertop continues on right here where you can uh, keep stuff for a little bit more room. And then we have us a shower tub combo. Plus you have a window in here. As you can tell, there's not any power on in this one, uh, but actually you see how light and bright it is, even with the dark tones. So I think that's really cool. Shower tub combo. And there's a lot of customization that can be done. So I'm just saying that potentially you had to have like a tile shower or something like that. That was your deal breaker. I'm gonna say all that can be done. So keep all that in mind as well. But for this to be a tiny house, I like the size of this bath. It's not like super cramped. Got a pretty good bit of room. And then so as we head out of here, the next thing we gotta check out is the bedroom. Y'all come, come on, look at this. We have some more of those lights on each side of this window right here. And uh, your breaker box and everything will be behind there. Up above there, that's your heating and cooling unit. I've, I've seen some people ask some questions on some of the past videos I did. Those things are really, really nice. It's amazing how well they work and, and how much they put out. And so we got two barn doors. Here's the other one. So this house isn't like set up. It's just a lot model, so it's not completely level. The door kept sliding down. That's why I sat right there. So in case she was wondering, but you have two different little closet areas. You have some drawers right here. Got these same countertops, and then you can have your spot for another TV or whatever you wanted to put there. Then here's your other closet area.
So if I get back here and give you a full shot of everything in this bedroom. So the next thing that we got to check out, you guys, is, uh, you know what? That loft. Come with me. Uh, yeah, honey, I'll take two eggs over easy, three slices of bacon, one avocado. Okay, thank you. If you had one of these homes, where would you like to set it up? Y'all be sure to uh, drop me a comment. I'm kind of curious. So this is an exceptionally large loft area. Come right up here. I'm, I mean, I'm like six foot, six one really. And so I'm gonna show you how well I'm able to get around up here. Obviously I can't stand up, but show you just how well I can get around. I mean, Cullen would love this. One more thing I'd like to show you on the loft, check this out. And so yeah, like I'm sitting here at the top of the stairs and I actually am able to sit straight up and that'd be cool if I could sit here if Cullen was up here playing and all that. So that's very nice as well. Well, I guess it's about time I wrap this video up. This has been awesome. Y'all stay tuned, I got a lot more of these coming. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you have not. Drop us a like on this video. I really would appreciate that. And if you know somebody looking for something like this, you have to share it with them. Thank you. Now let's get into some pricing on this particular model. Now to stress for everyone watching, I do the tours for entertainment and uh, I just want to show you all types of different homes. And so with that being said, I do uh, want to provide some type of pricing for you. And so I'm just giving you what they have provided to me. These prices do not include the delivery fee and all that, but this will be for the units themselves. This will give you a really good idea right here above us what you can get this tiny home for. What is going on, everyone? This is my first time ever doing a tour in the snow. And I got to say, I couldn't have picked a better place to do it at because we are looking at some wonderful looking cabin lodge type homes here at Hilltop Stru Structures. This is located in Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee, uh, just a little west of Nashville. Very, very grateful they have allowed me to come tour some of their modular cabin homes and they're just really a cool concept of what they do here they have several different homes here they also have just your you know your regular storage buildings they also have like uh, little barns and stuff like that so i highly recommend if you're in the area check in check them out but today we're going to be touring this beautiful home okay they do this on like pretty much all of the exteriors of the home of their homes they have these really nice wood exteriors we got the metal roof I'm sure you can come in here and kind of customize uh, exactly what you're wanting to do and all that. But I want to walk around here and show you what we have back here, which is a full glass, really nice back door. Got your outside light fixture and a plug there. Now let's head back around and get on that porch. Get out of the snow, man. So we're gonna walk up here on our porch. And I like how this porch goes all the way the length of the entire home. There's another one over there that has a porch I've toured as well. I don't know if it's on the channel yet or not, um, but it's it's actually a little bit wider than this one. So this one's not quite as wide. However, it goes all the way down there. I don't know if any of y'all are like me and you like to play washers or cornhole, a uh, game like that. You got plenty of room right here. <laughs> if you want to do that on your front porch. Okay. Now it's time for us to head on in. Half glass front door right here. Love those rocking chairs. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, when I pulled up and I seen that it was gonna start snowing, which it had not been showing snow in the forecast, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be snowing. But I tell you, it really, it's amazing how the Lord works. See, it really couldn't have been any better. It's made the videos uh, look great. Uh, I mean, the homes are heated. So it's just been an awesome experience for, for this to be my first time to tour any homes in the snow. Couldn't ask for anything better. As we walk into 
the living area here. We have several different chairs in here. You got your nice rug put down. While we're looking down there, let's get a shot of the floor. We got a two bed and a one bath. I want to show you the ceiling fan. I love how they have that hanging. Looks great. Over here, uh, that's the back door that we just looked at on the exterior. And then you get that full turn into the kitchen. And then look, it just keeps getting better. Let it snow. I mean, it's like, woo. Tell you when God's in it. What about these cabinets? These were in another one of the homes, but I think it had different pools. Like, look at this. Never seen anything like that. Soft clothes. Life is good at the cabin. Pretty. Stainless steel appliances in here. Make sure I give you one quick shot of that there. Have another ceiling fan right here. And then right here is uh, your little dining area. You definitely got room if you like to have your third chair. You could probably even pull it out. Maybe if, maybe if the table wasn't quite as wide and have you four chairs there. Got this barn door right here that closes off your first bedroom we'll check out. Vaulted ceilings throughout the home. And once again, I just love how they did that with the ceiling fans. You got these nice units throughout the house. Those things are very handy. I talked about them in one of the last videos. But this is, this is a pretty good sized room. They've actually got some tiny type homes here and I've done some of them. And you know, the rooms tend to be pretty small in those, but this right here is a good, like a single wide bedroom for sure. And I see the comments all the time. Y'all wanna see the, the single wides with the two bedrooms. Here you go. I mean, this is technically not a single wide manufactured home, but uh, kind of kind of same square footage and everything. And I love they went with the vaulted ceilings. And you can see really nice wood. So we checked out that bedroom. We gotta head down here and check out a few more things. The next thing we need to do is we need to look at our bath right here. Got a pocket door that goes into our bath. I like how they took that tin there around the bottom. Whoa, what about this light fixture? That is cool. You even have you a window in here, kind of a small window, but you can still pull it up, get some air in here if you need to. And then out of here, they went with the same flooring throughout this home. You got your stackable appliances. Not your, not your tiny washer and dryer, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is standard size right here. Uh, you ain't got to worry about having a small washer and dryer. I mean, you can still, you even have some more space in here. If you need to put like brooms or anything like that. Now, I'm backing into the back bedroom.
I don't know if y'all remember seeing those windows on the exterior, but there's a good shot of them. And we have two separate closets. I know I've already mentioned down there in that bedroom, but both of these rooms are really good size. I'm glad to see that. You have your water heater in this side as well. So fellas, this is probably gonna be your closet, just a little bit smaller after that water heater takes some of your space, so. <laughs> y'all y'all leave me a comment. Do, does your, like, husband and wife, does, does your husband have more clothes than you? Because I see that sometimes in the comment section. I just wanna know if that's every now and then or, Cause that ain't, I don't think that's typically the case. Am I right? Be sure to subscribe to the notification bell if you have not. And this is some really unique stuff that I'm getting to do here. So y'all stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to uh, share this video. Please help us out by sharing this video. Look, I didn't even show you the lazy Susan that we got right here. Helps a lot. I need others to see how cool some of these homes are here. And lastly, if you have not dropped us a like, I'm gonna encourage you to do that. Now I get it. You all want to know what's the price on this unit. Well, good news is that I have some pricing. I do want to stress y'all, uh, you know, these are just average, uh, these are just ballpark figures. But let me do say if you're like, if you're across the country or something, please do not contact Hilltop Structures. Uh, you, you know, that they're, they, can't, they can't deliver for you. Uh, like I said, they're kind of uh, probably about 30, 20, 30 miles outside uh, west of Nashville depending on where you are, fact, uh, prices and stuff's probably a lot different because you might get something just like this in your area and it'd be, you know, 10, 20 more thousand dollars. I have no way of knowing that. However, I do not want to leave this video with giving you some type of idea on this home. And with that being said, right here up above us, this will give you a really good idea which you can get something like this for. All right, everyone, it is Chance and I am back with a brand new tour of another beautiful tiny home right here. This one is spectacular, you guys. So stick around, we're gonna look at the inside and everything. I am at River Ridge Escapes here in Menlo, Georgia. Very grateful they have allowed me to come tour. They have a few models set here that they showcase and we're touring like one of them today, but also they have lots of stuff that they sell and they have some of these own lots. And so I'm gonna be getting some of those as well. So it's really gonna be really, really special. So y'all stay tuned to the channel for all that. But today we're gonna focus on this one. We got the smart board here on this exterior. I love the wood shutters and this one's got a really like rustic cabin, uh, tiny home type vibe. So uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy this one because I did a few of these in the past and y'all have loved them. So I was like, you know what? I gotta give the audience what they want. Y'all seem to really enjoy those. So I found this wonderful place and uh, just very grateful they allowed me to come tour some of them. As we come back this side, let me tell you what we got. We got us a water faucet there. You got your fresh water connection. We have us the outside plug. Y'all be sure to subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm really digging that window up top. We'll take a closer look at that on the inside. So you can kind of order off of this show model and everything. That's pretty cool. Screened in front porch. Here's just a little glimpse of one of the other ones. That's an amazing looking tiny home as well. Yeah, do me one favor if you will drop a like on this video i would appreciate the heck out of that thank you so much for taking time to do that now let's get into it okay so we're gonna step up onto this screen porch wow this is the only one here at this location that has any of the porch screened in so that's a great feature to see but it does have this very big porch like the rest of them have as well. Just a lot of room that you have out here. We got the vaulted ceiling. Obviously, you'd have your ceiling fan and stuff there once the home is all set up and everything. We got us two nice windows out here. We got us an outside plug down here below. Light fixture off to the side of our door. And then this one, we have the half glass front door right here, but it also, good, I'm, tr I'm trying to, sh now you're just messing with me. Like, I don't even know what noise that vehicle was making. <laughs> but it does have the blinds in it. Here we go, y'all. This is exciting. Honey, I'm 
goodness, where to start? So this was definitely got the cabin vibes going on. I'm talking about doing a little hunting fishing, maybe up in the mountains. This could be a lodge. Lots of opportunity with this one. I, I love, I noticed that window. It's like a, it's really unique. I love how high your ceilings are in this living area. Beautiful flooring while I'm down here. Let me go ahead and show you this. Nice storage area with your Wrenchman Essential uh, tankless water heater that we have. Got the tongue and groove throughout this one, y'all. We got a loft up above us, but uh, I'm not going to get right into that just yet because we got so much to see in here. Don't worry, though. We're gonna check it out. The next thing I want us to look at is the kitchen. Look how huge this sink is in here. Get you some tin down there. Look at the size of this sink. Now it's got your soap dispenser in it. Oh, uh, they must have knew I was coming. They got all the cabinets where I can't open them. <laughs> Y'all probably like, thank the Lord. I love opening cabinets. It's like, it's a pastime. Enjoy it a lot. Sorry. <gasps> they forgot this one. You can store you a nice size flashlight in there. But notice even our ceiling tongue groove. Built-in uh, built refrigerator, built-in microwave, stove, but a lot of cabinets, as you can see, all down through here. Like how it comes down, makes this little turn, and then it opens up right here. The next thing we have to look at is our bath. Y'all check this out. Okay, so there's no power on this one. Don't worry, I got my handy dandy light so I can show you may not be as clear. I've noticed that and so, sometimes when I go to export my videos, they don't look as good uh, as they actually do when I record them. Something about when I export them on Adobe Premiere anyways, they don't come out as clear. So I'll do my best to kind of go slow so you can see everything. But this is a nice size bathroom actually. I mean, Wonderful looking interior doors. And then here is your shower. Okay. We continue on down here. Just continue with the tongue and groove thread. It's gonna be throughout. So I guess I ain't gotta talk about that again. Here is your stackable washer and dryer. Very big double door refrigerator. Then we also have a little bit more of a storage. <gasps> I mean, I, I, I just had to. It's the last one, I promise. Wow. Once again, we got the very high ceilings in here. Three different closets in this tiny home. Can you believe that? Let's just start out with this one. I mean, look, and also, let's just look how big of a bed you can have in here. 
Here's your first closet. So you got this above your bed, this is great. And you also have more storage up above that if you need to use that. But then second closet. And then your third closet. Which Easter just passed is probably not coming out. It's probably gonna be a little while before I put this out, but Easter just passed. It makes me think about he rose on the third day. So what, I mean, I'll, I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. This house got three clauses. Jesus rose on the third day, you know, so I'm gonna let you take that home with you. But look at this. Now we're gonna step back out here and I'm gonna show you the upstairs or the loft area. Uh huh. I like these wood stairs that, that we have coming up. Okay, so this one's got the same flooring that you've seen down there instead of carpet, which and you can do a lot of customization and stuff, no problem. But wow, it's a lot of room up here. I like the rebar, gives it that rustic vibe for sure. Now I'm gonna get over here in the corner, show you a full shot. We got several different windows up here bringing in a lot of great light. Wow. So I mentioned one of the other ones, but I like the fact that you can sit here and uh, have plenty of headroom. And you know, if the kids and stuff are up here, you could just sit right here. I like this a lot. Y'all be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you enjoy these types of tours, y'all share this video. I'm really trying to do more homes like this. So share this maybe with somebody you think would like to see something cool, unique like this. And if you haven't dropped us a like, please, please, just one, one time. If you would like to, I would appreciate it. Like I mentioned, when it comes to the pricing on this particular model, that uh the shipping and stuff will none of that's included because like i said they can send these long distances and so all that has to be factored in but i can give you a price on the unit and also i'll shoot up a floor plan with that i know i hadn't showed that in the video and so i'll go ahead and do that now i just didn't have a really good shot of it but i'll show you that and then right here will also be uh pricing up above us what you get this home for just a good range depending on uh options and also this is for at the time of recording ladies and gentlemen what about this right here this is something very cool uh this is actually a home they just pulled this one up here this this model right here is actually sold but you could always order another one i had to get it while i was here if y'all been following the channel you've seen some of the other ones that i've done this is just one of the many great looking homes here at hilltop structures they do really cool stuff i mean I know I tour a lot of manufactured and modular type homes, but this right here, and this right here is just next level. I kind of don't know what to say about it. It's just so cool. And this particular model is one that really caught my attention. And uh, right before I leave, right before I left out, I thought I should go ahead and video it. I love those windows that you have up top right there. You notice we got the metal roof. We got the screened in porch, which I'm gonna check that out. Don't you worry one bit. And then we come right around here. I wanna show you this side. Obviously there at the bottom, you would have your siding and stuff. So don't worry about that once it was, once it'd be set up and all. Got a little bit of the same look over here, but we have a side door. So we have a side door and then we have this door right here on the front. They go, well, it goes into your porch, but then we have front doors that go into the house. Now that's where we're about to head. Let's check it out. This is in Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee, a little west of Nashville. Uh, Y'all be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you enjoy these types of videos. And all we ever ask is if you will, drop us a like. I would appreciate you taking the time to do that. 
vaulted ceilings is what you're gonna see. Now it's time for us to head on in. Look at that door opening up for us. I appreciate you. Hey. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Wow, this tour just got 10 times better. I like the full glass double doors. Where, where are you going? Sneaking on it. I can't believe she got in a tour. This may be the this may be the best tour on the channel. I like I like the vaulted ceilings. I know I had mentioned that. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I got caught off guard. So yeah, we don't have any power on in here, don't have any furniture or anything, but I'm gonna show you it empty. And I know if you've seen some of the other ones that I've done here, you can kind of see what it looks like staged and everything like that. But they, but everyone I've seen, they they kill it with your light fixtures, your ceiling fans, and everything like that. You just got one big open area right through here. Let's go ahead and look at our kitchen next. Soft closed cabinets. One thing I noticed about this one is you have a lot of area over here if you want to have you a, I would go like a long kind of rectangular type dining room table, but you got plenty of room for that right over here. And then you still have you a couch and stuff up here in the front part. So here is the side door that we seen um, on the exterior shot. The next thing on the to-do list is check out this bathroom with this pocket door. Got this nice pocket door. You slide her open, you walk in here. Walk into our bath. They went different on your cabinets in here. You got a little bit of tin behind them. But you'll see that we got the tin there on the bottom. And then we also have some tin up here on your top. We don't have a tub in here. So while I'm thinking about it, I have mentioned in some of the other videos that I've done here, I'm gonna add this to my tiny house playlist. And if y'all enjoyed these types of homes, you gotta check out uh, the playlist. We've got all types of homes on there. Right here's a spot for your washer and your dryer, stackable appliances. And then the last thing that we're gonna take a look at Back here is the bedroom. Oh, and it's got a little loft area up there. I have not even, I did not even notice, or did not even know that was in this particular home. Some nice windows in here. This is a, a very nice interior door. Um, I wanted to show you some of the hardware that we had on it. And then here is the clothes. There you go. Okay, is that a, I think that's a tankless water heater, ain't it? Oh yeah, it says tankless water. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't really have a way to get up there and show you any of that. But that's about the best I can do. I hope that helps. Well, thank you all so much for watching another one of our tours. If you have not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget to drop us a like, if you will. It always helps our videos. A lot of you take time to do that. And lastly, if you will share this video with someone, I would really appreciate that as well. What are you doing in here? What I'm taking you over channel. <laughs> You're doing what? My channel. You're taking over the channel? Uh-huh. Cullen's <laughs> Cullen's home world? This ain't right. Come here. Goodness gracious, you guys. Cullen's trying to take over the channel. 
and call it Cullen's Homeworld. What do y'all think about that? Y'all drop Cullen a comment. Why do you want to take over the channel? I just... I think I know why you want to take over the channel. Because you want to be the star of the show. Is that right? Uh -huh. I kind of feel like you already are the star of the show. And maybe he's a little jealous because mommy got to be in this last tour. <laughs> okay, he didn't actually see mommy in the tour, but she's in it. I'm going to show it to you when it comes out, okay? All right, so this time I'm going to do the outro, but maybe we'll consider letting you do the full outro next time, okay? Okay. Say, see y'all. See y'all. See y'all next time. See y'all next time. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Well, there you have it. I guess my time here running the channel is limited. Now, as we get into pricing, I have to stress that these prices that I provide to you all is just what's provided to me. The tours that I do are strictly for entertainment. And like I lined this trip up to go to this place because they had such really cool, unique homes and I wanted to show them to you here on the channel. But other than that, I'm not, I'm not out here trying to sell these personally. But this price right here up above us will give you a really good idea what you could get something like this home for, depending on where you are. Though, like I mentioned, you know, pricing and stuff, material itself can be more expensive. So keep all that in mind. Well, I'm going to head on out. And I guess I got to go start doing paperwork maybe to hand the, hand the channel down to my... It happened so fast.